Well, welcome back. Kim Kardashian uh, scaling back on her presence on social media after being robbed at gunpoint in Paris Monday. Yeah, reports say the entire Kardashian-Jenner family is cutting down on public appearances. Kim's also hired more security, including her undercover guides. So then this brings up the question, how can you defend yourself during if or uh, when you're being held at gunpoint? Derek Hofrichter with East Valley Krav Maga is here to show us some self-defense moves. That is what you guys teach at your uh, place, at your studio, and you've been doing this for, for many, many years. Yeah, um, for a lot of celebrities, it is Krav Maga that they're looking for. Th these are the exact things that we practice on a daily, uh, daily basis in our classes. Okay, so you teach us what to do if we are ever put into a situation like this, which I'm sure... I can't even imagine the, the level of scare and anxiety that come over you, but this is probably your only life-saving defense. Yeah, when you're in that situation, like you said, there's going to be so many emotions and mm -hmm. um, options and things like that, and it really is about having um, choices. Okay. So if you're not trained in what to do, your, your choice is basically going to be like, kind of like what she did, which is comply. Uh, I heard that she like begged and pleaded for her life, right. which worked out for her in this scenario. So it actually worked out well. But if things had gotten worse or let's say her kids had been with her, she right. may have needed an additional option to try to change the outcome by fighting back. So okay. what is Krav Maga? Can it's, you show us some moves and yeah. can you tell us? So about it's an Israeli self-defense system for men, women. We even teach children. It, it works for everyone. So yeah, we can show you a few techniques that we could use in that scenario. Okay, so you have a fake yeah, gun. We, we have a fake rubber gun here that we use for training purposes. Okay. And so um, when we're talking about something like being held at gunpoint, which is actually, we train a lot of people who have had this happen and they come in. The first thing we talk about is if the gun is pointed at us and we decide we need to make an action, we need to uh, divert the line of fire. We need okay. to move it. So she can use her right hand and she can move the line of fire. From there, once she does that, she wants to control the weapon. So even if we get to this point and we're in a struggle, the weapon's no longer pointed at her. So even From, if it were to go off, right, it's, it's going in a, a different, different direction. direction. From there, she can start fighting back, right? She can kick and do other strikes until she can remove the weapon. And you teach, I would imagine, where to kick and yes. move and things mm -hmm. like that because she wants to still try to stay as safe as she can. Absolutely. You know? And it's like I said before, it's not that she has to do a technique, but if she has the ability to, that leaves her that option. Can you talk about the noises she was making? Like earlier we heard the screams and right now different noises. That probably is a part of distracting the person as well. It is. And if you think about the whole thing in, in itself, um, they don't want noise, right? The people coming in, they were in an apartment building, so they don't want any noise, which is why I think they like bound her and gagged her and um, mm -hmm. just everything they did, they don't want her to make noise. Her best defense, especially when outnumbered, is to make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So when we practice these techniques, we teach you to be very, very loud. You know, so as she's doing the technique, you can just go all the way through. Help! 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 Right? She's screaming and making wow. noises. Not only is that Probably affecting me as the you, attacker, right? but that's drawing attention to her apartment. Maybe neighbors might hear something and call for help. Or if she's in a parking lot or something like that. Yes. Now, you have classes, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, we do classes six days a week, um, lots of classes, about 25 classes a week. And what would you suggest um, if we were, you know, we've never done this before, we come in. I would imagine this is something that would be better if you continue to keep up on your practice and the training. Yes, you have to start with the basics. You know, you have to start with how to move, how to use your voice, um, how to start to get that confidence to even yeah. attempt something like that. So that's yeah. where you need to start. As you continue with it, there's all sorts of weapons, knives, guns that you can start to train against. Wow. Okay. And where are you guys located? We're in Tempe on Apache Boulevard. Okay. okay. And we can just get in touch. Yeah. You e have a website? Yeah, eastvalleycrawmaga.com. Okay. Good job. Nice to see you, Rainy. Thank you.